Baby. Baby. Huh? Can't sleep. Can you hear me my sleeping pills? <clears throat> Good morning. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> so obviously a little tongue in cheek, but medication mix-ups certainly happen. In that case, it's because you're half asleep. Sometimes you're just not reading the pill bottle. Or something like this, and this is the most commonly encountered scenario. You put your pills, say, in a pill box. And then you look in the box and you're like, huh. Which one is which? So one of these is rosuvastatin, the other is lisinopril. The statin is designed to treat high cholesterol. The other one is to treat high blood pressure. You can imagine if you're mixing those up, that could create very serious problems. I have hydrocodone acetaminophen, that's a generic name, and potassium supplement. And basically, one's a pain reliever, the hydrocodone acetaminophen, and so that's going to make you feel, you know, a little happy. And, <laughs> and, and then you also may lose ability to drive and operate machinery and things like that. And whereas potassium is to treat low potassium levels, obviously, but it can be lethal if you take too much. So you definitely don't want to mix these up. Oh, yeah, and I've got two. These are important, too. One is a uh, alprazolam, which is a benzodiazepine. It's for anxiety and panic attacks. And then the other one is another statin, a different one that you have, but it's for cholesterol. And you cannot tell these two apart. And, you know, one of them is 0.25 milligrams. The other one is 10 milligrams. So if you're thinking, oh, I'm supposed to be taking 10 milligrams of the one, and you notice it's only 0.25, you might take a lot extra yeah. of the wrong medication. Well, and it can happen with dropper bottles, too, especially if you're using eye drops. You don't want to mix up the wrong drops and put them in your eyes. So, for example, let's say this one is marked on the bottom. This is eardrops okay. for a swimmer's ear, ear infection, something like that. If you put that in your eye, though, the problem is it has carbamide peroxide in it, which that is used hurt. to whiten your teeth. So take a look at this picture if, by mistake, you put your eardrops in your eyes. So obviously, these are your eye drops. This is what you want to put in your eyes if you have an eye problem. Extra careful. This is super glue. And there have been, oh, yeah. there have been cases. That would be a nightmare. I know somebody did this on their pet. Yeah. They, had, they had drops for, for their, their, their pet oh, dog and put, fortunately, the dog was fine. But... Very important, you know, the red cap, maybe color code these. If you're treating your ears, your eyes, obviously don't keep your glue in the same cabinet. So what can you do? Always double check that pill bottle. The other thing is get a sense for what your different medications look like. And obviously, worst case scenario, if you're afraid you've either taken too much of a medication or the wrong medication, you can always call Poison Control Center, 1-800-222-1222. Most pills do have an identifier on them so that they can help you figure out what you've ingested in case it may be dangerous.